You're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez in Southern California. I'm Mike Morales, and we're 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 attempting to to taste this evening La, la Crema de México, 1921. 1921. Mira, look at that. Yeah, no, Alex, no? It's just that's no. Um, How do you open this thing? You see this little this little tail right here? It's dipped in wax. Oh, is that so a cola? It's a cola, hombre. Yeah. And then you gotta you gotta twist it Ooh. around. Oh, cool, cool. Here you see? go. See? Yeah. Oh, you you hadn't opened yours? No, I hadn't opened this one. Miracle. <laughs> That's because if I open it, Lisa will drink it all. <laughs> oh, look, it's got a little hat. Yes, the crema. Now you have to be careful. You gotta use your nails. You know. Okay. Yeah. Don't use your teeth. Don't use your teeth, Alex. Alex has a tendency to use his teeth, and he loses his corks that way all the time. Here you go. 1921 La Crema. So this has been out for a few years, right, Mike? About yeah. 10 years or so? Did you say it was 10 years? I think 2005? 2005. So um, it's a tequila cream liqueur. Right. Uh, it is It is uh, starting off with – we're having a hard time with this. And yeah. I, and it's well, not like it's – it. It's not like tequila where you can wet the cork, you know, because it's a cream liqueur. And it's made with real Mexican cream. Yes. The uh, the what well, they call super premium, 2000 um, or 1921 tequila. Right. Ah, oh, there it goes. <laughs> and the cork is synthetic, by the way. Um, if you're if you remember. And coffee. Yeah. Yes. If you remember 1921, it, it has gone through a couple of. Um, Here you go. Wow. It, Ooh, yours popped like good. like champagne. Hmm. It has gone through a, a few incarnations Ooh, nice. and different distilleries, uh, but this recipe has essentially stayed the same. And every time you serve it, and I know we're, if you're watching us, we're filming this, we're taping this in, in November. Oh, excuse you. Um, right after Thanksgiving. What a beautiful color. This, this well, obviously is a great, it's going to be crema. Yeah, this is a great dessert tequila. You Ooh, serve it with dessert. You can you can make a cocktail with it. Alex, um, it says here that the now you may have seen some of the other bottles. That there are some specialty bottles in pink, I believe, and blue. Right, pink and blue. Yeah, and one's I irresistible. I think it's the blue, and the pink is um, no. I think they're both. Well, they say they're irresistible. I think they're this both, is the classico. Yeah, this is the classic bottle. Which is the other ones are more of a, the specialty bottles, but it's the same juice inside. Right. The blue is the azul maya, and the pink is I have it right here, the rosa mexicano. Uh, rosa mexicano. Oh, it's, it was actually created for the tenth anniversary of 1921's uh, crema. Cool. It is. It is. Uh, the last time I had this, Alex, was when I was a judge at Spirits of Mexico before it was sold. Um, and it's a winner, hands down. It wins every contest it ever gets into. People fall all over themselves for this. Nice. Event. Great coffee nose, great cocoa nose. Mm. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh. And it's so light, too. I thought it would be a little heavier. It's almost like a bitter, like a just a very faint bitter chocolate. Just on the on the back end, you can serve this thing on the rocks. Mm, beautiful coffee notes. Oh yeah. Mm. Chocolate, honey, cocoa, caramel. Santa Claus would be very happy to see one of these when he comes down your chimney. Mmm. That's really good. <laughs> wow. Um, what was the percentage of alcohol on this, Alex? What does it say on the on the bottle? By the way, 1921. Proof. 30 proof, so 15 percent. Okay, so it's a 30, 30 proof. proof. Uh, 1921. If you don't know anything about the the, the brand itself, uh, that was the the uh, was at the end of the Mexican Revolution, Alex. And I think it commemorates that. That's why you get some of the um, the older photos and pictures. Um, nice. You can check our, our Instagram account uh, at Tequila Aficionado, and you'll see some of these pictures that we took uh, of all the bottles. And you'll see these are like very vintage black and whites that uh, we were able to 
play around with. But even if you get the bottle, you'll see a lot of um, nice. vintage, um, or at least they look vintage, um, photographs on the bottle. So there's a there's a, a proud heritage on on you know uh, of this tequila and the tequila liqueur. Um, let me see if we can find the if we can read this because it's got a, it's a moving website. Uh, in other words, the graphics move. Uh, distinguished by a unique blend of Mexican flavors is vanilla, cinnamon, cocoa, and caramel. Uh, combined with the warmth of our 1921 Blanco. So, it, so it's made with the Blanco. Yeah. Uh, my understanding is it is made with, with, with cream, but uh, it is... Uh, I don't think it... Even if you don't refrigerate this... You, uh, we've been told that uh, even at room temperature, you'll probably get six months out of this. But I got news for you. You serve this to your friends, your girlfriends. You know, you serve it after dinner for dessert or whatever. This thing is not going to last. Not last. It won't last the evening. All right. That's <laughs> all I can tell you. If you have it, anything, if you're, if you're saving this for any reason, forget it because you won't. It, it, this is one of those you have to hide from yourself. Yeah, it's very good. Wow. Very good. Great for after dinner. Mm. And they have, um, don't they have, they have cocktails as well, Alex. They've got a whole line of cocktails. With this stuff? Yeah. Um, the crema? Yes. Ref, uh, I, well, it says refresco de toronja. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they've got a few things on here. they got love cream. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, oh it's, it's, it's with refresco de toronja. So it would be... Um, it would be, uh, what do you call it? Um, like grapefruit juice? Well, it has grapefruit juice, yeah. Oh, wow. But, but the soda. The soda. Oh, oh, kind of oh. Like, oh uh, um, what's that brand called? Um, uh, well, it's like like Squirt. It's like a Squirt, yeah. Yeah, probably Jarritos. Is Jarritos, what, there you Jarritos go. Jarritos is what you're looking for. So it'd be two ounces. Oh, but this is the Blanco. This is Tequila Blanco. Well, I don't know. It says 1921. You know, it's confusing. Like I said, the website's confusing. You, you're getting a recipe on one end, and you have the graphic, the, the photo of it. On the other side, and it says 1921 La Crema. So, uh, well, that's strange. That it looks like it looks like La Crema, but it's got two ounces of 1921 tequila blanco, and then the the salt and, and and ice. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You guys um, gotta fix this, eh? Hey, you know you're confusing me, and I speak Spanish. Um, yeah, you know what? I think that I think they messed up. <laughs> They messed up on their cocktail I recipe. I think they, I yeah, I think they forgot. A, they forgot the crema. Well, um, it's probably the crema and the, the refresco de toronja. But if it would be refresco de toronja and the and the blanco, it would be a paloma probably. Probably, yeah. The uh, uh, you know you got you got um, let's see freedom of spirituality. Oh no, this is stuff that is explaining the bottles. They only got one cocktail on here. Yeah, and it has nothing to do with the with the 1921. So what's up with that? I don't know. I have no clue. You guys got to work on your stuff. It does. You know what? It doesn't matter. Put it, put it in your punch. Throw some cinnamon on top of it. Call it done. You don't. This is one of those where if you it's if, if you take it to a party, especially a holiday party, an office party, it's a crowd pleaser. Uh, what I do you think? What do you think um, up against those other coffee liqueurs? You got Bailey's out there. You got you, Bailey's. It's comparable to Bailey's. I I would say. Uh, very different. Not as sweet as Bailey's. No. That's See, Bailey's sweet. is sweet. It's more like a Tia Maria. If you've ever yeah. had Tia Maria, um, it's kind of a, a. But even Tia Maria has has notes of, of like a like a caramelized coffee, like a burnt coffee, like coffee mm. grounds. Yeah. Um, uh, Avion Espresso is much stronger. So it's unlike any other of the of the coffee liqueurs that we've had before, uh, and of course it's made with tequila, so it's really different. Um, uh, I think it stands on its own. I, th I don't think you can, um, I don't think you can compare it so much as as it stands on its own. And and it, I th I really do think that it that it lends itself to cocktails. If you have a cocktail that you've made this with. Write it down in the comments. Let us know. Let, Let us, us know, know in the comments below. Yeah, especially now with the holidays coming up, because you know we're we're big into recipes and cocktails and desserts. Um, you know, I can see this with with a probably too sweet with a flan, 
But you know, I, I thought the same exact thing. It'd be, it'd be interesting with the flan. Yeah, because flan is sweet in and of itself, but this is not going to, this is like, it's almost like a muted sweetness. It's not an overpowering sweetness. It does, it's not going to um, linger in your mouth like some of the other um, liqueurs that are out there. Uh, it's just, it's a, it's just a fabulous, uh, a, a fabulous tequila, uh, tequila liqueur. And it's not like an almond liqueur, liqueur either because it's, there's no almond in it. So best case scenario, get yourself a bottle. Try it. If you have a, a cocktail, a favorite cocktail you're making with it, write it down in the comments. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can see uh, this sipping off the cuff along with others. And, and we'll get to the, to the whole line, you know, shortly. So... <laughs> I'm being asked for the bottle. It's it's disappearing, Alex, as we speak. Uh, Brandon, did, somebody, did somebody steal your bottle? Somebody stole my bottle already, and I just <laughs> opened it. See why I don't open those bottles, Alex? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I think this is a Brand of Promise nominee um, in, in the coffee, in the tequila liqueur category. Yeah, what's the liqueur, liqueur, liqueur tequila category? Tequila liqueur and legacy, because it's been around for a while. It's been around for a long time. We're going to, uh, uh, by the time you see this, you'll probably have, um, we will have done the uh, the rest of the line as well, because they have a full line of Blanco, Reposado, Añejo. That, uh, nice. Yeah, that they've, they've moved around from one distillery to another, and I, I think the last time we spoke to uh, one of the owners there, they they told us that they were planning on going back to the original distillery, so we're hoping that they keep us posted when that happens. And and we'll break the story here on TequilaAficionado.com, the part of Tequila Aficionado Media. I am Mike Morales. And they're fourteen ninety nine, by the way. They're NOM. Oh, they're NOM. Yes, fourteen ninety nine. I thought that meant the price. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a bargain. Yeah, I know. Stock up. Buy a buy a case, man. Buy a case is right. <laughs> It's a great Christmas present. It's a great present for, for, you know, even Valentine's Day. And I believe it comes in, in the pink bottle what would be a nice one if you could find it for Valentine's Day. Because, uh, you know, right after Christmas, you dump everything and you go back to the store and it's Valentine's Day, you know. So, <laughs> I'm Mike Morales. He is San Antonio. I'm Alex Perez. Uh, you've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. Please sign up. Keep watching. And keep tasting and drinking and enjoying, obviously, responsibly. Mm -hmm. And as always, sip wisely.